Here I'm going to show you how to automatically send an invoice with the click of a button. And it works like this. We finished our invoice, we hit send invoice, and we get an email all set up along with our invoice right here. And when we open that PDF, we can see that it's only the invoice, the button, and anything else that we don't want included will not be included. And I'll also show you how to make it so that when you click that button, it will automatically send the invoice instead of just showing you the email and letting you verify everything's okay before you hit send. So you'll be able to choose which one of those you want to use. And this does require a little bit of VBA, but I'm going to go through every line that you need to change to make it work for your situation. It's not that difficult, I promise. And if you've taken my VBA course already, you're not going to learn too much that's new in this tutorial, but you might get a new way of thinking for how to arrange and organize your code in order to make nice little macros within Excel. And that's what you could get out of this. And if you're not taking my full VBA course, I highly recommend it because it'll help you automate Excel and do really cool things like this and so much more. I'll put a link to it below this video. And it might even be on sale, so check it out. Now uh, let's go back here and let me show you what is going on. There's really three things that we need to do to get this to work. So open up your favorite invoice. And the first thing is that we want to name a few of the cells. And the cells that we want to name are cells that we're going to use within the code later. So notice that what I've done is included an email cell right here. You could have it right here in the invoice itself or put it out here to the side so that it will not be included in the PDF. It's really up to you. But this is the email to which we are going to send this invoice. And then we also want to name the invoice ID over here because I want to include that in the name of the PDF that we're going to have to save in order to send. So we're going to save a PDF of this invoice on the computer that will be included in the file name. And then maybe we want to include the total down here. So I've named that as well. And to name a cell is very easy. You just click it, go up here and input a name for it. I'm going to call this invoice for hit enter. And if you want to verify the names are good, we can go to the formulas tab, name manager, and we can see our names right here. We have invoice email, for ID, total, and then one for the table down here. And once we've named everything that we want to use later in our email, then we just want to make sure that this guy has a print area set. So we're going to go to page layout and print area, and we can click set print area. Now we haven't selected the area that we want to print yet, but that's how we do it. So for instance here, I want to print the invoice, but I don't want to print the send invoice button. So I'm going to go like this, give it a few extra rows in case we have a few extra line items, and then go to print area, set print area. And if you mess it up, just print area, clear print area, and then redo those steps. But once you've done that, you are good to go in the worksheet and it's time to go to the code. And you can download this workbook and follow along or just pause the screen and type everything out. What we want to do from here is hit Alt F11 to go to the VBA window. And look over here in the left. If you don't see it, go to View, Project Explorer, and then you'll see that window. Open up your file, go to Modules, and Module 1, and here you go. Now I'm not going to go through every line here. There's a lot of stuff that I can say, and in the full VBA course, everything is heavily commented and I explain exactly how all the little pieces work so that you can make your own macros and do all sorts of cool things. Here I'm going to show you how to change this to work for your situation. Let's go down here past the variables that help the macro run and go to the make a file name section. I'm going to say there are really three sections here, file name, PDF, and email. Starting with the file name, here is our variable that's going to hold the file name. But the file name here is more than just a name. The first part of it is going to be where you want to save it on your computer. Then we start with the name. What name do we want to give it? Here I'm going to give it invoice dash. And then I'm going to give it the value from the invoice worksheet from the invoice ID cell. So invoice worksheet invoice ID cell, the one that we named invoice ID. And then at the very end, don't forget the file extension .pdf. So if we go back here, this guy 
is named invoice ID. So AB-123. And be careful with this because you can overwrite existing files. But now let's move on to the PDF section. You don't really have to change anything here. What we're going to do is make a PDF from the active worksheet. We're going to use the file name that we created right here. And the other important thing for this tutorial is that ignore print areas is set to false. We want that so it will respect the area of the worksheet that we want to print, and it's not going to print anything outside of that. And printing in Excel is how you're going to save your PDF. I know it can look a little confusing, but that's how it works. And now here we've got our file name. We have our PDF. After this code right here, a PDF is going to be saved on your computer. So all we have to do is to grab that PDF, attach it to an email, and send it. So we go down here to the email section. And here we have some standard variables to be able to send an email from Outlook. And then we're going to go ahead and create the subject and the body here. And for the subject, a simple text invoice from ABC Company. For email body, we're going to have a multi-line message. And there's all sorts of interesting ways you can create this, including using HTML to make a really beautiful and custom email. I show you that in the full VBA course, but here let's keep it simple because this works most of the time. So we've got text. Attached is the invoice from ABC. But now I want to go to the next line. So essentially hit enter. So we close up the quote. We go for an ampersand and VB new line is the same as hitting enter. But within our code, to go to the next line, we have to use ampersand underscore. It seems a little bit confusing, but if you follow this pattern, you should be able to customize the message just fine. So we have another line right here, but I want two enters after it. And then we're going to go to the next line. So underscore regards one enter underscore ABC company. No more underscore because we're at the very end of it. We're not going to the next line in the code. Once you've got that done, let's go down here where we're actually going to create the email and send it or show it. So what you want to change here is the email section. Right now we're going to get the to or where we're going to send it to from the invoice worksheet in the invoice email named cell. And that is this guy right here. Invoice email. Then for the subject, we use the email subject that we created here. For the body, email body that we created here. And for the attachments, the new file name variable. So new file name, the guy that we created right here and saved as a PDF right here. And lastly, choose if you want to display it like I did at the beginning of the tutorial. That's really helpful if you want to make minor changes before you send it or use dot send to automatically send it. And that's really all there is to it. I know it looks complex, but once you understand how to program, you're going to think of this in three different chunks. We have an email chunk here. Most of it's standard. You don't have to change it that much once you have the base code. Then we've got a PDF section here. Same thing, pretty standard. You can even copy paste it, change it as you need to. There's many different ways that you can use this. I show you so many of them in the full VBA course. And then make a file name. You can even make this file name dynamic, so this could be a much bigger section than just these two lines. But making it dynamic is a little bit beyond this tutorial, although I do show it to you in the full VBA course. That way you'll never actually overwrite any file on your computer. But as long as you change the invoice number, you shouldn't have a problem with that. And like I said, download this file to get this code, change it like I told you in this tutorial, and you should be good to go. And then when you go back to your invoice, you finished filling it out. All you have to do send invoice. And that's it. If you want to learn how to do so much more for automating your worksheets and saving yourself a lot of time, check out my full VBA course. I'll put a link to it below this video. And if you like this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can get all of my future tutorials. Have a good one and see you next time.